see this has been this has been my week Ugh. yep and I'm trying to find the game right now to be able to watch it and I can't find the game either I don't know if it's being broadcast here Lose and get knocked out of UCL? God, I hope not. <sighs> Normally, I can get the Champions League games, and I can watch them on. I can watch them while I'm streaming. Let's see. Champions League. Ah, uh, that's why. Galavision. CBS All Access. It's not on. Can't get it. I can't watch it. Shit. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. I, honestly, at this point, uh, it's... It's so hard to watch the Liverpool matches that I don't even know if I'm, if, if I even care about missing the game today. It's that bad. Uh, so, yesterday, Lunar New Year was really difficult. I, I got yesterday. I missed, I missed, what did I miss? Let's see, the thing began on Thursday, so we got, I got Thursday... I got Thursday, I got Friday, and then Saturday, I couldn't get in. Couldn't get a single match to load. Sunday, I couldn't get a single match to load. Two days with nothing. Two days with nothing. Then yesterday, I was so pissed, I sat there on um, the hard round... And it spun for like 40 minutes. At the beginning, like at the very beginning of reset, it sat there for like 40 minutes. I couldn't get it to, to connect. I said, screw it, I'm done. I'll switch to the easy one. And the easy connected just like that. So I did easy yesterday. And now I can't decide what I'm doing today. Like, do, which way do we go? Do we go easy and we go hard? I still want to get Rooney just for pure principle. But I've already missed two days. So, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, today is the sixth day. And I've only got three of them. So we can miss four days. Yeah, and I've missed two. So, hard is easy today. Uh, there won't... I We just got confirmation today that there, there won't be a UCL event anytime soon. And yeah, it's a late stream today. Hard is easier today. So we should do hard. Kinsey King says the hard is the way to go. So we'll do hard today. I think the only team in the season Liverpool starter will be Salah. I I don't even I don't even know if uh if he could get a nominee. I don't even know if he would it's been a rough year. Carlos? Uh, no, what are we doing? That's in the Lucky Shop, isn't it? I'm at four. I've got four rounds of... And, like, today, we could probably do today, but, like, who wants... Who wants an 85 striker? I don't know. 
And I won't use Roberto Carlos. I don't even know how much I want to really get into that. I don't know. Ruben, how we doing? Hold on, I got to send this email. That's why the boss was calling. Frantic typing. Do you hear that? It's good stuff. Do you hear that? That is that is uh, me working. You guys are, are privy to this at the moment. Have you spent your points on resources so far? Yeah, resources and then, you know, usually it's boost. And then if there's, like, if Lunar New Year points or something pops up, I'll do that too. Uh, where is that? All right. Uh, see, I would like to watch the game, but uh, I'm currently, unless I want to pay for CBS All Access, uh, the game's not televised here. I can't watch it, and I honestly, it's it's. I really just don't even care at this point. It's been so depressing watching these games that. Uh, I don't even expect very much anymore. Oh. Try Ripple Stream. I've got it. See, like right now, I've got it up in another stream. I'm, I'm reading comments. And, uh, I mean, we're nine minutes in. There's pretty much nothing happening. I've got the timeline running. But that's it. Ten minutes in now. If I've completed five offers as of now, can I claim Roberto Carlos? I'm still planning on claiming him, and I've only got four, so I think you'll be fine. So, what's going on? What have I missed? Let's see. Uh, so... Here's here's what happened. I was out. Let's see, Saturday stream went down because of an automatic update on my laptop. Uh, locked me out, and I couldn't get access. OBS, the uh, the system I use for streaming, would not recognize my cell phone, so it was just a black screen. So we did a watch party on Saturday. So no stream on Saturday. Sunday was Valentine's Day. I told you guys I wasn't going to stream on Sunday, but I got bored and I thought I'd, I'd screw with you a little bit. So there was like a 20-minute stream of nothing on Sunday. And then yesterday I worked. Today, um, last night, we got... Yeah, the loop vid was fun. <laughs> um, last night we got a foot of snow. And you guys know I hate my neighbor. So this morning I spent a few hours out with a snowblower getting everyone's driveway and sidewalks and everyone in the entire cul-de-sac. Everyone done except my jackass neighbor. So I did everyone's house but his just because I'm a dick. Um, yeah. Do I like Indian food? No. I wouldn't I wouldn't say I like it no no I like uh, beer food bar food beer and bar food yes all right before we do this how 
how much max league matchups? It's 45. 45. I, unless they've changed it, I, I could never get 46 before. It was always 45. Like, I'm stuck at... I still have seven left. Um, what do you think about Roberto Carlos free to play? He should be. He should be free to play. If you're intelligent with using your coins. Let's go ahead and claim there's really not that many sales. It's like 60 sales. It's like 60 sales. All this is just shit timed out. I don't even think there's any... It doesn't even... Yeah. No, there's not even sitting there. So there's only 60 sales. Can't be that much. Um, here, you want fishing tips? There you go. Should I invest in the current Zodiac players? Because you can buy like 15 and they're fresh in two days. So I don't think the next event's going to be UCL or SBC. Um, realistically, we, we could see, I don't even know. I don't even know what the next event could be. We could have top transfers. We could have, I don't think it's going to be UCL. I heard that UCL is not coming back any soon, anytime soon. Carnival is, is, is more likely than anything. When is Ash Wednesday? 2021 is February 17th. So most likely Carnival or top transfer. That would be my guess. I'm not even doing a prediction. I'm not doing anything. Let's just claim it. Where are we starting with? 1,103 coins because I have nothing. So let's just claim there's uh, quite a few elites. It's mostly elites. Silvers are almost dead at this point. Which we kind of expected. Which is better, Carnival or Top Transfer? Carnival. Generally, Carnival. I'm, I'm really disappointed in Lunar New Year, though. And Lunar New Year is one of my favorite events ever. Usually one of my most favorite events. And uh, it's it's been pretty crappy this season. I'm not going to lie. Very disappointed. Very disappointed in Lunar New Year. And what do you guys think? What's a few guesses before we do it? What's a few guesses? What do you got? Give me some guesses, guys. How much last night were you think? Numbers? Numbers? Nobody? Nothing? Five mil? I'm going higher than five mil. I would say... I'm going to say closer to 10. If it was 340, we'd be doing a big team upgrade today. And 26. Yep, didn't see that one. 26 mil. 26 mil last night. Very, very few silvers. Mostly elites. Mostly elites. When we get ultimate team of the season or team of the year, Allison. Okay, here's here's my plan. I'm not putting, I'm not putting a ton. I'm not saving money right now. I'm pretty much rolling everything back into new investments. Just putting everything back in. Uh, and I'm I'm looking for like a two to three hundred million coin night, at least a hundred million coins. Overnight. That's that's what I'm looking for. When we have a hundred million coin night, then I'll do some upgrades. Two hundred million coin night, three hundred million. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Looking for a three hundred million coin night would would do my team upgrades. But we're gonna have to wait. That's not gonna be anything really soon. Yeah, five mil. What OVR should I buy and when to sell them? Should uh, don't, I mean, well, if, if you're planning on, okay, let's, let's talk, let's, let's do a, let's get real here for a second. Alexander Arnold releases Salah through a goal on the right side channel. The forward tries to lift his strike over Golachi, but the keeper blocks it with his body. Slams his effort into the side netting from a tight angle. 
But I have a lease to sell. Should I wait to sell or were those team of the year lunar elites as I have both and wondered which to either sell or keep? I'm, you can kind of fish anything at any given time. Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's do this real quick. Let's. All right, so right now, uh, the the way this runs almost every year, it's it's pretty much like clockwork. The market follows a set trajectory. We we can see it. We know what's going to happen. And if you've been doing it long enough, and you have a few years under your belt. If you've been in here since 2017 and you've played the market since the beginning, then you know exactly what's happened, what's going to happen, and where we're going. Because it really hasn't deviated um, very far from the set trajectory on, on the market. So here's, here's what happens almost every season. We see a huge uh, uptick in silver values in December. E the intelligent investors buy silvers in the first month of release. That's when we buy thousands of silvers, when you can get them for under 2,000 coins, when you can get them for 600, 700, 800 coins in the very beginning of the season. The intelligent investors buy them at that time. We hold on to thousands of silvers from September, October, November, whatever the beginning of the season is until freeze. During freeze, there is a massive increase in value in silvers. Well, tickle mutadies. Ghost XZPER just resubscribed for two months. THXS. Thanks for the resub. So December sees a December, December. I think I'm hitting puberty. Um, December sees a big rise in value on silvers. Then as December unfolds, silvers settle. They you, you can see big spikes that kind of hold true for most of January as people start to, to more focus on the more important OVRs like upper tier gold and elites. That's where everything starts to shift to because we've got team of the year and we've got freeze. And the only reason we see big spikes in silvers is because there's so many of us that still have thousands left over from December, from all the buying that we did in September and October and November mostly November because of release, you know, the, the timing of the season, but all of those that we bought at the beginning of the season, we're starting to unload them. So now the peak hit around Christmas and it's starting to fall. So all that time where we had big coins in silvers and you were used to, to 50, 60, 70,000 coin silvers on a daily basis, you can see them for all, all going all the way up to 180,000. Those times are done, they are gone, they are dead. Of course you will have anomalies here and there, but if, if, you, if you're just now coming into the silver market and you think, uh, and you, you think you're gonna jump in on it, you missed it. Uh, this is the time, February, March, this is the time that we've almost gotten rid of our silvers. We're moving on. Silvers are done. Silvers are dead. <laughs> it's time to move. I mean, you can still fish silvers all year long. Like the entire season, you can fish silvers. But there is a gap where they're important and they're the best way to make coins. And you should have gotten rid of everything by now, for the most part. Um, I mean, you can still stockpile. But if you're buying silvers now, uh, here, look. So if we're buying silvers now, doesn't even matter what OVR it is. Base only. 
We'll go. Tw- we'll go even high. We'll go high. Twenty five hundred. There's got to be. Nope. Are we still not down to the, there? There we go. We can still buy silvers in this range all day, every day. At this range, twenty five, twenty eight hundred. Do I suggest it? Yes. Doesn't matter the OVR. If you're going to stockpile, stockpile. But these silvers are not for fishing right now. Sure, you can get a few spikes out of these things right now. You can see some values fluctuate. But as a general rule, we're almost on the downslope of uh, the silvers dying off temporarily. Will they come back? Yeah, they'll come back. They always come back before it's all said and done. But if you're trying to get into the silver market right now, don't expect the numbers that we had in December and even part of January. Don't expect 60 to 200,000 coin sales to be a, a norm. When you can do a search and start finding silvers in that point, that's when the, the market has already shifted. It's already shifted. Don't, don't come in so late that you, you've, you've missed it and you've lost it. This time every year, the majority of us that work the market have moved on from silvers a month ago and have been using the last month to unload all of our stock and moved and move every anything moved everything over to um, elites high golds and elites is where we should be at right now elites High golds and elites. Um, that's and I've been telling everybody that since, goddamn, since mid December, to start buying elites. Uh, last year at this time, I, I think I had maybe a thousand silvers left, and um, a few thousand elites. And I think we're at that point now. I think I'm at about two thousand elites. Hundred and fifty masters, two thousand elites. I've got more elites than I do silvers. Winter SBCs, it doesn't, I don't know, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't, this has nothing to do with, SBCs could could see a huge shift in value for the elites, but it's not the most important part of what changes the values of elites. This is a, it happens every single season. If you're new to if you're new to FIFA Mobile, right now we haven't seen anything this season that should surprise so that should surprise anyone. And no, I'm not watching the match. No, I'm not watching it. I'm reading it. I've got commentary turned on. Yeah, 25 in, still 0 0. Um, there's been no surprises this year at all. Everything we've seen has been almost exactly what we should expect. Hammering, doing good. Uh, so if, if you if you get really bored, you could always look back through like FIFA Mobile 19 and FIFA Mobile 20, the streams, and watch the trajectory of values and what we invested in in seasons past if you're still confused. So like right now, you should not be buying silvers unless you're holding on to them for the next peak. The peak is on the downslope. Can you still make money on silvers right now? Sure. Sure, you can still you can still make coins on silvers, but it, it's definitely not where I would be focused on. John, how we doing? Uh, we're talking about Talking about the market, we, we just we had this big discussion this morning um, in in the league about where we thought everything was going. This is uh, where is it happening at? I just saw it. It's uh, this is leg one, so this should be at Leipzig. So the second leg it should be should be back at. This is round of sixteen. We're still on. Home and away, right? 
So right now, you sh if you're doing anything, you're buying elites. You're not buying silvers unless you plan on holding on to those silvers for a very, 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 very long time. When SBCs dropped last year, did base elites skyrocket at first for all of them? Base elites did not. It's neutral. It's at Budapest. Did they do r neutral stadiums for the round of 16? I didn't think we went to neutral until after. Until it dropped to. To the top eight. I didn't know that. Um, interesting. So when SBCs dropped last year. It adjusted the values of not of the base elites it adjusted the values of the program elites and the reason being is there were so many people um, that were claiming elites in the event claiming base elites that the base elites plummeted the values went up for all the program elites and then everything kind of shifted so Base elites didn't see an increase in value until like a month and a half after SBCs. You could use base elites for SBCs, but there were so many base elites being injected back into the market at the time of SBCs that it, it we didn't see the shift there. We saw the shift in old program elites, like the uh, Korean elites from the beginning of the season. All of the Oktoberfest elites went way up in value. Um, we saw... Uh, the summer stuff went way up. The team of the year nominees went way up. Um, freeze players went way up. And at that point, I think even the Lunar New Year and stuff had a decent amount of value. But it wasn't so much the base elites that we saw the big increase in value on. The Once SBCs released last season and the the value, the base value of elites the median value. Like when you go in and you tried to buy elites, you could buy them for 80 to 120,000 up until SBC release. Then it was difficult to find an elite under 180K. You could sell them for anywhere from 150 to 300,000 for well over a month after SBCs. Now this is, this is what I want people to understand. It is not SBCs that increase the value of elites. It's not SBCs that increase the value of elites. It does help, but that is not what this is about. This has happened every season, regardless of whether or not SBCs are part of FIFA Mobile. Last season, we had SBCs at... Was February, I think, something like that. February, March. In there after Lunar New Year, we had SBCs. Before that, there were no SBCs. This season is completely different because we had SBCs at the very beginning of the year. We've had SBCs all season long. Haven't seen this, and I, I personally, I, I, I'm not 100%, but I'm 99.9%. .9%. We've never seen an entire season with squad building challenges from day one to the end. It's never happened. It's always come into play in March or after, in, in spring on. So this year, since we've had SBCs since the very beginning, the drop of SBCs is not going to really change the value of elites. It's just going to add in the normal path of FIFA Mobile where we see the value of elites start to rise. Every year this happens. So I hope you understand this. Every year, whether we have SBCs or not, two years ago, we didn't get SBCs at all. The entire year, no squad building challenges. Not a single squad building challenge for the entire season. Didn't change anything. Elites saw the same increase in value. We saw all of the elites go up in the spring February, March-ish, when the drop after Team of the Year, when we saw the value start to go down, uh, elites come into play because we need them for rank-ups, we need them for training, we need them for XP. Once they allow you to start training your players past 100, people start using elites for XP. 
when we need them for a lot of different reasons and then just like silvers their value doesn't have anything to do with what they actually are their value just goes up no you didn't make a mistake hold on to them that's exactly we're buying all elites right now i mean if you've got a couple thousand elites most guys in my league have a thousand or more cole how many elites do you have for example how many elites do you have I know Rutgers got shit. He's probably got close to four thousand elites at this point. Um, John's got a few thousand. Uh, it, yeah. Listen to Cole. see Cole's got two thousand. I think that's kind of the average for us between fifteen hundred and two thousand. I think almost all, all of us have in that range because we've been buying them since December. We've been buying them when the the time to buy elites began. And I see this trend right now where everybody is coming in like two months behind the curve. And there's still people like, I'm buying silvers, I'm selling silvers, I'm buying silvers, I'm selling silvers. Well, guess what, dumbass? That shit was like in December. <laughs> you're, you're, you're behind. It's behind. It's, it's it's entertaining to watch, but we've we've moved on from that. It's uh, yeah. How do you, how do you count two thousand cards? Um, the easiest way is to post them all, and then see where they're at in your uh, inbox. They suffer from memory loss. Yeah, it's because they uh they weren't here last year, or or this is the whole fishing thing is new to them. So they're, they're like that far behind. 50 elites. Where will 50 elites get you? Um, I've got 26 mil right now, which means that by tomorrow, I'll probably buy another two or 300 elites. I see. Is there anybody I should invest in to gain some coins? So any short-term investments other than fishing? No, not not really. I mean, team of the year nominees, we could see an increase in value in them soon. I mean, it, it could come and go. I mean, if, if for some reason they do drop SBCs, if SBCs get released quicker than we think they are, like if they came in and said, okay, the new event, instead of Carnival, they come next week and say, we're going to drop squad building challenges. If they did that, um, then all of the elites that we have could, should see a big increase in value. That's that's what I'm holding off on. People keep asking, when are you going to buy a Liverpool team? When are you going to buy all your team of the year players and stuff? I'm I'm planning. That's the whole problem. I am planning right now for my normal. It happens every year. My normal spring sell off. Uh, where we we flip all of this investments into coins, and then then we go from there. Can't cheer? I think it's like slash cheer or something. I don't know. Um, how do I fish elites? Because I only saw a silver fishing method. It's the same thing. You do it the exact same way. There's there's nothing different other than the values shift a little bit. Um, I mean. Right now, you can get 2 million coins out of an 80,000 coin investment in an elite. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, like here, if you look at this, this is, here's, here's elites and masters that are timing out. This is just stuff that's timing out right now. I mean, these aren't sales. These are just, this is just the, the elites I was fishing yesterday. And they're still timing out. There's like 813 elites so far that I had in just yesterday. Not what I have. Base elites, program elites, everything. Everything. If you guys are still dicking around with silvers. Yeah, you're, uh, you're behind. So, let's see. It's 3.30. God, I had to start. I started way late today.
how much are you fishing those elites for? Um, at least a million coins. At least a million coins. Here, look. See the stuff that's timing out. Million coins. Million coins. At least a million coins. Anything less than a mil is you're giving them away. Anything less than a million coins for an elite, you're giving them away. I would say probably closer to... I mean, we, we saw 2 million coin elites last night. 2 million coin elites. How do you think I made 26 million yesterday and, and I had like 53 sales? And, and you I still see people still see people like asking questions about silvers. <sighs> I mean, a million for an elite. Yeah, John, John. Okay, I just saw John in the chat. Uh. How many how many elites did you sell yesterday for two million coins? For two mil. John, how many elites did you sell for two million coins yesterday? How many elites should I have to sell on a single cycle? I'm I'm right now I'm I'm saying that you should have at least a thousand. Like that's just where it is. Fabian cards were crazy yesterday. Those went, those were up over two mil, and they were eighty thousand a couple of weeks ago. I think some of us were buying them for sixty five thousand. John, you, John sold twelve yesterday. Twelve elites for well over a million. I know a bunch of those were over two mil. It's. It, I I don't know how else to. I don't want to fight with everybody as far as where the market should be shifting. But I just, there's, there's a trend right now where I see so many people that have been misguided and misdirected like horribly, horribly. And they have jumped on this bandwagon like sheep and it has, it is, well, it's, it's fucked a lot of people. And it's gonna fuck a whole lot more. It's like, it's it, it's like a. It, it's as if someone went into that wet market in Wuhan and was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a ham and bat sandwich, and then everybody else was like, I'm gonna make a ham and bat sandwich. I want a ham and bat sandwich. That ham and bat sandwich looks really good, and now there's a shit ton of people who are living and dying by ham and bat sandwiches. And I don't like ham, and I don't like bats. So, I don't know. And they blame me. Yeah, they're like, hey, Travis is the guy who told me ham and bat sandwiches are really good. And I was like, no, fucker, I didn't say anything about no ham and bat sandwiches. What are you talking about? Thanks for the cheer. He figured it out. Cheered <laughs> X10. Yeah, ham and bat sandwiches, people. Ham and bat sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck ham and bat sandwiches came from. All right. Let's do... Okay, so let's see. We can we can do some upgrades. I don't even know if I want to do any upgrades. We've got three boosts we can upgrade. I think number one... I think it's a waste of a million coins because if we switch to Ultimate Allison, he doesn't use it. I'll probably keep Daglish. Let's spend 600000 here. And Pace. We'll never use Pace because Ultimate Trent Alexander Arnold is a different one. Uh, I only explain fishing with burgers or sandwiches. It's because I'm hungry. I'm always fucking hungry. I'm always hungry. Um, let's see. Uh, I've been playing for years but never knew the market. The market, see, this is, I don't play the game. Like, I, I don't do anything. All I do is, this is this is a, a, a game about a market where you can also place 
football to me. I'm not watching the Liverpool game. I am. Uh, I have it running in the background. Mane sees a strike. Charge down by. Toils out before the Senegalese sent it back into the middle. I'm. Um, I'm reading the comments. I, I don't have access to the game here. Last time I saw your fishing video. Now I'm ten plus over all ahead of my friends. Though I didn't understand it perfectly. That's awesome. Silvers is way done. Agree there. Golds are done. Elites are the way now. That's pretty much what I've been telling people since December. Time to move on. Elites are where you need to be reinvesting. I mean, you can still make money in silvers. I mean, I'm still fishing silvers. I mean, I had, if you saw what I claimed at the beginning of the stream, there were a lot of silvers in there. Um, I'm, I'm still fishing masters. Look, those are... Everything that timed out right there, those are all masters. So, all right. So we did the upgrade. We did boost. How close are we? We could. Um, do I have enough rank up? Can we rank up? We have enough shards. I could go to 128. I don't even think I'm going to mess with it. I'm not putting any money into this. 127 is as high as I'm taking it. I'm not going any higher than 127. We're going to hold. We're going to hold the money. Ghosts per cheer X11. LOL. Thanks for the cheer. Um, I'm not spending a coin. I'm not spending a coin on any upgrades for the rest of the season. Other than um, I'll have to do Beckham in two weeks. I don't think we can, I can't do them this week, but next week we'll do Beckham. But other than that, we're waiting. All of my money is going to go directly into the, we're going to rebuy. We're going to start investing. Like right now, I would be searching for, we'll do 95,000 just to see what's available. I don't even know if there's any, have we kind of shifted? Has everything started to go up? Can you even buy elites under 100,000 still? Or is it 100,000 kind of where we're at? Actually, it's probably because I've been talking about elites. How many of you have just spent a bunch of money right now buying elites? Everybody's buying elites. I'll have to wait until you, all you suckers are in bed. Before you see me again next time, that 26 mil will be gone. And it will be all reinvested. There, about one. Bought one. Every penny. It will all be gone. What players are you going to pick with the three players prime icon choice? Probably Owen. I never hold the money. I always spend everything. It's, it's, my mom has always told me I have a, a, I have a hole in my pocket. Like whenever there's money in it, I'm, re, I'm buying something else. I'm always reinvesting. Which is kind of got me pissed. If you guys know that I usually buy and we usually build cars around here. Um, my kids, my fucking kids, have screwed me. Are we doing the big one? Let's do the hard. Let's just do it. My kids have screwed me. They uh, Normally they, they go in with me and we start, we'll buy a car, customize it, sell it, buy a car, customize it, sell it. And I've they've made enough profit over the last year year and a half that now the two of them no longer want to flip cars they've taken all of their profit and put it into their own car so now i'm stuck if i want to flip any more cars i got to do it by myself and they both have nice cars they get to drive and me i'm stuck driving some beat up ass old honda what happened to the TikTok car? Um, uh, that was the I'm, I'm building a my son's got little tykes blow molded cozy coops. They're they're like these little push pedal car. There's no pedals. You just push them with your feet. And apparently there's some TikTok thing going around where people are customizing them. And they uh they both wanted them, so my my wife 
she bought them cozy coops. She bought my 15 year old and my 19 year old toddler toys. And apparently I'm stuck working on these toddler toys. My, my excuse though is right now we can't do any kind of painting or anything because the weather's so bad and the paint will not stick and something. So I've got kind of a, uh, a little bit of leeway there, but yeah, there that's, and they're not doing little shit. That's like the 15 year old. They want to lower the cozy coop, obviously, but he's like, I want a wide body kit. We made custom wheels for it. I think I'm going to lose this one. I found this Lunar as a nightmare. Yes, I'll agree with that. The I'm I'm 2 days behind just because I can't find matches at the hard versus. When do we start fishing masters? Um I mean, I'm fishing them now, but I don't think it's I think it's a bit soon. Do you have requirements to join your league or do you choose specific people only? We we are very, 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 very picky on our league. Very picky. Um I, I usually whenever we, we have room for somebody, I'll post it on finally he sleeps dot com and then we grab somebody through there every once in a while though i'll get somebody that sends me a like they they cold call me on discord like i want in here's what my team looks like and we've let people in that way but i don't think we have any i don't think we have any uh holes right now can i join your league early next season uh you i mean our our, the guys in my league, we've been together for a long time. Like, some of them we've been together for a really long time. Um, like, multiple seasons. So, we we it's rare that we have somebody walk away completely. I mean, we do have guys that, that kind of drop off every once in a while. The hell? I hate when you get stuck with a team full of... Elites and the other guy gets the team full of masters. But you're both 100 OVR? I don't know. Your league kicked you because you lost five games in a row? How much do you list? 85, 86, and 87. Um... Listing value is almost always based on what you paid and what their current value is. So if you can find, you know, 85s for for a few hundred thousand, then 500,000 would <sighs> See, I hate these red and blue kits. Cuz I still can't tell the kits apart. Like I said, I'm trying to get you know a million to three million out of my elites. Two million for an elite is a good a good value right now. One million is is about a minimum. Am I recording the game? No, it's I've got it on an, uh, in another window. It's not the full game. It's. Uh, God damn it. Another draw. See, I, I don't have I don't have access to it here in the States. I'd have to pirate it on stream. I mean I can watch it in in replay, but no. Uh what happens if you tie the second one? What happens if you win the first match? 
and then tie the second match. Do you stay at the second match or it counts as a loss? That's what I figured. If I can't, if I can't make my way through all this, if I get stuck today, it's all Kings of Kings fault. Are you talking one to two million from the 88 and 89? No, 80s, 81, 82, 83, 82. You get to replay it. Get past the verses. It'll be okay. Good. I'm hoping. <sighs> it's not about, it's not that these things are tough. It's that we can't find, can't ever find a match. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay focused and actually try to win one. Oh, so frustrating. Normally the versus matches are the, the best events. Can we come back from this one? Nope. Not with those crosses. God damn these matches. What would you sell Masters for? Like one to two mil for Elites. See, really Masters, you're getting about the same value for the Masters right now. You don't see huge values in the Masters until squad building challenges. That's the difference. And until they unlock higher OVR, until they unlock like be the ability to go up to like 110. Ties in games are just too much. It's annoying. It's very annoying. A hypnotic trance to buy something from the store in range. <laughs> How many elites? I would say a thousand. Yeah, eight to ten times TXT, TXP value works well, except for masters. I don't think we can. I mean, if you a ninety gives out like six hundred and fifteen thousand XP, I don't think we can get. You know, 6.8 mil for X for masters. It's like we can get a big markup on silvers when they're selling and you can get a big markup on elites, but masters, you never see that kind of a, a value increase three to four times. What you paid is pretty good. Like I, I hold on to my masters. I don't buy them unless I can get them for under seven and a half, like 750,000. And I don't sell them unless I can get at least one point seven 1.8 mil out of them it's like a three time markup it, it, i'm happy with two and a half to three times for a master elites i would like to get a lot higher markup out of the elites ederson and alba hold on to the nominees i have i haven't even put mine in the market i've got any any team of the year nominee or starter that I have, I'm, I'm holding for a while. I'll hold on to them for a while. How do I know all these tips? Um, because I have no life and I play this game way too much. And this is, you know, the 
the third or fourth year we've tracked the market on stream. None of, nothing that we've seen this year is new. Everything is old. Everything is a replay of last year in the market. Everything that we've seen increases in value, all that stuff. Nothing is new. Dead obsessed. So I started a new book last night since I'm playing versus matches I can't win. Uh, I started a book la a new book last night called Mountain Man. Mountain Man, that's what it is. Ah, oh, this sucks. I haven't even won a match yet. We've had like three losses and a draw. Ever read Red Rising? No. What is Red Rising? Actually, see, I, I was, uh, Mountain Man popped up as a suggestion on Goodreads, and it's, um, Blackwell? Is that the guy? I don't, I don't have the book in here. Um, it's about this, it's, it's the, it's like a zombie apocalypse type book, and it's this guy who's an alcoholic who lives up in the mountains, and it's him trying to survive the zombie apocalypse, but it's, it's not like every other zombie book that's out there. It's a little different. I think there's three of them. Ah, space novel series, red rising. TV show in the works. Oh, this is so frustrating. Hello, I hear you are the master fisher. I, uh, I I can almost feel the sarcasm seeping its way through that entire statement. Yeah. Seventeen hours last week. Seventeen hours. You don't even want to know what mine says. But I I do a lot. I just autoplay. Jesus. I had this weird habit of buying my team and selling it after getting bored and buying a new one. I kept losing money, but I have stopped doing it lately. How do I stop myself from doing it? Um, I, I don't know. You smack your hand and say, stop it. They nerfed it. It made the AI cross spammer. Ugh. The the cross, it everything's down. Everything's a ground, you know, a driven ground cross. It's it's tough to get them in the air. I will be back on tomorrow though, and. Uh, Tomorrow I will, I will uh, be on at the normal time.
tie your hands and play with your nose, maybe, and it'd stop you. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't really have any problems with the gameplay. This is what bothers me. This is my biggest problem, is all this bullshit waiting for an opponent. God, waiting for an opponent, waiting for an opponent, waiting for an opponent. No matchup again. If if this if I get stuck and this is another day where I can't I can't play Lunar New Year because we can't find a match. You always find a match, you must be playing the easy one. The easy you find a match every time. It's the hard path that we struggle. And if you don't get your path done in the first couple hours, forget it. If you wait till the next day, you can't you can't play it at all. Should we buy the tier 30 special skill boost for the star pass or should we save to buy the big 1300? Uh, I usually go for whatever's available. I do them both. Depends on where I'm at. What in the hell? Oh. I'm going to stay focused. I'm not even looking up from the chat. We're going to win this one just because I'm bored with it. I want to move on from the versus matches. Okay, I think we got it. There, we're good. All right. Can't repeat the path. See, the thing with the league matchups is I just let that stuff autoplay. I, I just I hit start, and then I sit it down at work and let it go. All right, so now usually the second match loads pretty quickly. Second match here is 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 not a problem. I was reduced to cheers because of some boosted Chinese plumbers. What? VBNS six. Uh, if you click on the actual player, like where you want the cross to go, it usually puts it in the air for me. It's when you you try to send a ball into space is where everything goes to the ground. Ah, I hate when that happens. If I lose this, I'm going to be pissed.
Oh, we're going to have to start over on this goddamn versus bullshit. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Screwed it up with the, the click where it took me to have to pause the beginning. Once I lost momentum, it was done. Start over. We'll try it one more time. So frustrating. Hey, we got right in. Nice. That doesn't happen very often. 50 minutes in, we're still zero to zero. Sex deprived EA developers. <laughs> Ugh. It's matches. It's murder. Oh, Austin, thanks. Ooh. It's going to be a close one. Did we get it? Okay. Phew. If you were if you were pay to win, you'd have the best OVR by a country mile. I'm not free to play. I've spent some damn money on this shit. More money than I should. And we're still buying the Star Pass. And I've bought a couple of weekend tournament crap. Thoughts on DeSantis? He's an idiot. Yeah! There I go. I've got a better team. All right. I'm ignoring chat. I'm not looking. We're going to play this one. I want to get past this one. There we go. There was an actual cross. Did I tell you guys that I uh, finally started watching Game of Thrones? I've never read it. I've never watched it. And I'm finally watching it. I sat down and watched four episodes last night, which is like three movies. Some goddamn things are like an hour and a half long per episode. I think we got it. We're doing good. Ghosts Pachered X11. Well done. Shit. Well, it was doing good.
There we got him. We got him. Uh, one nothing. Nice. Does that reset me back to the beginning? Content update. What the hell is this? Does anybody know what the content update is? Ah, we get to play it again. Stream died. At least we get to replay it. Reds take the lead as Salad drills a low strike pass. Gulachi. Nice. Okay, here we go. Focus. Focus. That was the corner. Get it out. I killed the stream throwing my phone down. <laughs> my phone is all jacked up. It is uh, destroyed. This is like the worst match ever. All right, I think we got it. All right. Yeah, here, look. Look at my phone. Here. That's my phone. Can you see that? That's how jacked up this thing is. All right. It's now year of the jackass. <laughs> Okay, scenarios. We can do this. This should be easy. Two to nothing? I'm I'm behind. This thing is... It's showing... Oh, 58 yeah. minutes. I'm at 58 minutes here, one to nothing. Still showing one to nothing for me. SBCs are not happening. <laughs> Uh, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, you know that doesn't affect me at all. That doesn't bother me a bit.
Yeah, if you were here in the beginning, now it says two to nothing. If you were here in the beginning, you know that I already said that squad building challenges don't affect elite values. They they do to an extent, but even if there is no SBCs, the elite values will still go up. Doesn't matter. Oh wait, this isn't this isn't versus. <laughs> this is an actual match. Damn it. There we go. Watch load start selling them now. God, I hope so. That would be awesome. I've got 26 mil to invest in elites. I hope, hopefully they, uh, if they did make an announcement that they're not doing SBCs this season. Here, let's just see. It's likely uh, it's looking unlikely that a full SBC event is happening this season. We might reevaluate during the summer, but right now we cannot guarantee that new SBCs will add to the season. We will try to add more SBC style engagement to the live events we have planned. Yeah. Yeah, he just he just sent messages to us to the damn. I but honestly I don't that doesn't affect me anything. It it won't change the value. It won't change anything. Don't think elites will rise. Yep, yeah, nope, they're not gonna arise. Not gonna see any value. Elites are dead. Everything that we've bought. I definitely wouldn't buy any more elites. Definitely not the time to buy elites. Now that SBCs are done, these things are going to start dropping in value. Everybody who invested in these things are going to start giving them away now. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't spend any money on elites. I don't know about you guys, but now that there's no SBCs coming, these elites aren't going to be worth anything. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't buy any of these. No SBCs. No squad building challenges, maybe till the summer. It, we already have squad building challenges. It just means that one event isn't going to drop. But we still have all the SBCs in icons. Every event's supposed to have SBCs in it. It really shouldn't change anything. We're just going to miss out on that 
big SBC sell-off where we can make three, four hundred million overnight. That isn't going to happen. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would do this or not. This is probably stupid for someone to realize that the SBCs aren't happening and then just spend lots and lots of money on elites. Probably stupid. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't do this. This is stupid. Someone stop me. Someone say, hey, don't do this anymore. Elite values will never go up. Steady my hand. Let's go up in value. Let's go 85s. Something good. Who, who's good here? 130. I don't want to. Let's go 88s. 87s. Let's go 87s. See how cheap we can buy. Can we get any 87s in this range? 145. SBC, stop buying crap. <laughs> oh. We need to get we need to let it sink in a little bit. We need to 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 let the no SBCs this season sink in to see if it does affect the value of elites. In a good way. Like uh, it, where you can start buying them under eighty five thousand again. If that happens, and we can still and we can start buying them under eighty five thousand again. Then I'll dump the money. Then I'll dump it. I don't want the stupid division rivals players. We got too many of those. All right. The more you buy, the more we sell. The more coins we make. Hundred percent, never releasing. It's over. It's done. Panic sellers. Oh, please let it be true. Holy shit! If people get so scared and they start dumping their elites, it's the only time I'm gonna say it on stream. God, I hope so. God, I hope so. I hope people panic. Please panic. Oh my god! In fact, here, let's do it. Let's do this. Just because I find this entertaining. Here. Let's see. Hold on. There you go. I just tweeted. Hopefully that'll help. Panic and buy toilet paper. Let's hope. Let's hope. All right, where were we? Lunar New Year. I have enough points to do 170 finally sleeps pulls. All right, where are we at? Zero to one, 65 minutes in. <sighs> I just tweeted. If you if you're bored, go check out the tweet.
There we go. Van Dyke bringing it even. I really should be getting off of here. I've got a nine-year-old waiting to watch The Matrix. I have introduced my daughter to The Matrix, and today we are watching Revolutions, the last one. My kids have all see my boys have seen the matrix that that's not new to them, but my nine year old wanted to watch it. And I was like, they're rated R. Why are they rated R? Like, I don't remember them being that violent. I mean, it, there may have been like a few like adult themes or something. So I have to parent watchdog it just a little bit. But yeah, she's uh She's loving the Matrix. She likes Trinity. She likes the girl heroes because she's a little girl and she likes the female word. You know what? You know what? I can't wait for the new series on Disney. And I'm telling you right now, I am so pissed. I am so pissed. Disney Plus is releasing. It's it's. Uh, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is the name of it. The fact that they did not call it Sam and Bucky just pisses me off. It should be called Sam and Bucky. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I, I apologize. But there's a new series coming out in March. Um, follow It's the new Marvel thing. It's... Um, it, I think it's called... The Falcon and the, the Winter Soldier. It looks so good. It looks so much better than WandaVision. Alright, now what do we got? Damn, there's two more matches after this? Thank God you didn't buy Elites. <laughs> oh... Yeah, thank God you didn't buy elites. The Dan Man. That's awesome. I'm I'm a complete geeky boy anyway. Elites are going up. FIFA Mobile without SBCs isn't FIFA Mobile. FIFA Mobile without SBCs is just season three. Or season one. We've, we, uh, we, we have SBCs. SBCs have been here for a very long time. We do have SBCs. God damn, there's another one after this too. There's three more matches. We don't have to like do anything sp like special, right? We don't have to like go with midfielders or anything. I didn't read it. Uh, yeah, um, Antoine's chat just said that it was a developer issue. Seventy four minutes, two away goals. If they can hold a clean sheet for that, too. I, 
I love Castileo. That his right wing card, that ninety eight UCL right wing card, is a monster. That thing is, he is so good, and I never hear anybody talk about him. But he's he's awesome. Now Antoine said they're going to try to incorporate more SBCs into the events, and we've been riding him pretty hard. Um, Stopti and I have been all over him about how we need more packs, more packs. We need coin packs. We need to be able to pack players. Sex deprived developers. Oh, so good. I'm so happy about this. At least it happened right here when I've got about 26 mil to buy to spend. No SBCs. It's disappointing, but it won't change anything. All right, I, who else is, is there anybody that's on right now? No. First time ever, Jay, welcome to the lockout club. Welcome to the lockout club. Just saw your tweet about SBCs. Uh, no SBCs this, this ceiling or this season. No SBCs right now. They're saying that they uh, would struggle to get... Oh, shit. They would struggle to be able to get it together. So they're thinking that uh, no SBCs. No SBCs. We're not really screwed. I was joking. The, uh, the tweet is 100% sarcasm. Oh, there's a foul. In a box. In a box. Some girls with cleavage. What did I miss? Oh, I'm so excited. Two to nothing. All right, as soon as this one's done, um, I will be on tomorrow again, 30 minutes before reset, and hopefully I'll be broke. That's the plan. Hopefully I'll be broke, and it'll be because I bought a ton of really cheap elites because people started to panic. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Best of Trump's eldest kids? You mean as in like... It, to me, those kids are kind of like uh, the Three Stooges and Tiffany. I, I don't even mention the one. I don't remember his name. Baron. How many SBC events happen, by the way? New player here. Uh, there's just one. It's just one SBC event. That's it. All right. That's where I'm going to dump it. I've got a movie to go watch. 
Uh, how close are we? We got two more left. Yes. Are you ready to watch a movie? Yep. Okay. I'll be right there. See, see, I'm getting, I'm getting the. Uh, she's waiting. She's waiting. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Fuck We're seven, 80 minutes in, two to nothing. Liverpool, two away goals. Dumb, dumb, and dumber. I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm kind of excited. I know you, I, I, I I'm, it sucks that we're not going to get SBCs. It sucks that we're not going to get SBCs. I'm, I'm excited though, because this should bring the values down relatively low over the next couple of days as people panic sell that don't don't understand or know why we're buying elites. We're not buying elites for SBCs. So hopefully all these people that have been buying elites for SBCs are going to get rid of them quickly because there's no SBCs and then we can, we can invest in more. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, 30 minutes before reset. Normal time. Hopefully, I'll be back on a regular schedule. Uh, thanks for hanging out today. It's a weird stream. I had a phone call. Came on like an hour late. All right, time to go. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the cheers. Thanks for the subs. Thanks to my league mates for coming in and making this kind of fun. Jay, appreciate it always. Um, uh, Sherrod Dindu, thanks Ace Player, Jesse Everybody that was here today, I appreciate it And I'll see you guys tomorrow 30 minutes before reset As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep streaming <laughs>